Hello, my name is Rodney Robinson, and I'm the administrator for the Facebook group Pendulum Dowsing and Energy Balancing. And today I'd like to talk to you about a particular type of pendulum called the Chamber Pendulum or the Murmur Pendulum after the uh, person who started using it and had written books about how to use this form of pendulum. And the particular feature of it is that it has a removable top which reveals a chamber inside into which you can put samples or what's known as a radionic witness. And we're going to talk about each use of this. Now, for example, if you're a prospector and you're looking for gold, uh, you could put a little sample of gold in there and you could hold the pendulum over an aerial photograph, which is said to be a lot better than, than a map because we want a resonance with the actual representation of the area rather than more of a sort of psychic connection. And then you can hold the pendulum over an area that you suspect you're likely to find some gold in and then uh, allow the pendulum to indicate to you if there is resonance uh, with that particular area. So that's a very um, easy to understand uh, principle. The other thing that you can do is that you can utilise a radionic witness to find out uh, if things are going to resonate with you or the person whose witness it is. And to demonstrate that, I'll just show you what I've done here. And I've just taken some little nail clippings and made a little packet like that out of a little piece of uh, tissue paper. Um, and just pop that in there, and that just protects the actual interior of the pendulum from coming into too much direct contact with the witness material. And uh, when we put that together again, the pendulum will resonate more strongly with my own energy. And then what we're doing is we're bringing the pendulum into contact with, with, with other energies from other objects, and we're observing the movement of the pendulum. So again, physical dowsing or radiesthesia, as it's called, uh, doesn't require the, the formation of a particular mental focus or a, a question. It is literally now a matter of holding it over an object, for example, a tub of supplements or a homeopathic remedy or something that you want to know, will this be a benefit? And the, the pendulum will tell you by resonance. So if you get a, a uh, positive response, there is resonance and there will be benefit in that particular object. It will give benefit to you or it will go in a negative manner. Hopefully this one will because I've just tested it out and again, yeah, there we go. So this one will not be of any benefit to me, so we can put that one to one side. And um, this is how you can you can sort of find out all sorts of information. It could be, for example, food or different samples of water. Maybe you've got some uh, water from spring sources or tap water or uh, water from um, the bought in a bottle. And you want to find out how beneficial it would be. Again, you can hold the pendulum over without really thinking about anything, just keeping your mind reasonably relaxed and uh, you know, not too occupied with thought uh, and just allow the pendulum to move as it wishes to do and indicate to you positive or negative. Now another thing that you can do is that you can put a sample of a remedy in there. Let's take another one. So now here we've got some little pills, homeopathic pills made in the same way uh, as, a, as, a, as a sample in a little packet. Again, just to protect the internal chamber. We don't want to contaminate it with too many substances. And then you can literally just bring that pendulum into the biofield of the person who you're testing, whether it be yourself, whether it be your, your palm, and you can get a reaction as to whether that will be helpful or not. Now having found out that it will be helpful, 
you can actually transmit the energy of the remedy that you put in there. It might be a little sample of herb, for example. Herbalist might have discerned that this herb may be good, but you just want to make sure with the pendulum. And it will say, for example, yes or no. If you get a yes, then you can transmit it by swinging the pendulum yourself consciously in a clockwise way and just holding that over the area if there's an area of the body that requires some healing or just over a chakra center or anywhere within the biofield of the person and just allow it to swing under its own momentum and to to to, to come to a stop or go from side to side okay and when it when it comes to a stop goes to side to side the energy has been transferred. So that's a way of actually transmitting energy through the pendulum as well. Uh, you can utilize the same uh, principle of finding out whether objects resonate with you. So let's you can go let's go back to the radionic witness. Now I've I've used uh, nail clipping in there, but you can use a little snippet of hair. Or just take the other sample out, put that one in. And then any object that you have in your house, you can actually check. So let's hold it over this little amber skull and just see how that resonates. And that gives a good positive response, so that resonates well with me. So that's uh, that's an application that could be used, for example, by um, crystal healers who want to find out the best crystal for the client. It's very simple to do. So you can uh, detect, you can you can find um, objects, you can uh, discover whether objects or remedies have a resonance with the individual which would be beneficial or non-beneficial if it's an anti-clockwise swing and uh, you can also by placing your as the dowser you can you can place your sample in there and it should improve the dowsing response if you're a beginner dowser that may be something you'd want to do if you're having trouble getting a yes or no response from your pendulum, putting a sample of your own, what's called a radionic witness, as I've described, then it should improve the, uh, the resonance with yourself and then give you more positive movement for your dowsing practice. Okay, so that's the chamber pendulum and how to, how to use it. Okay, I'm going to show you another pendulum because it is quite related in, in many ways, but it doesn't have a chamber. But it, it, it does the same thing, actually. It's, it's able to impregnate, which is the, uh, you know, it's, it's virtually the same as putting a sample inside the chamber pendulum. So you impregnate the pendulum or you can transmit whatever the pendulum is impregnated with. And to do that, there is a specific pendulum called the Builder's Pendulum. It's sometimes called the Apprentice Pendulum or the Mason's Pendulum. And it's made to certain proportions that uh, are, are significant in sacred geometry. So the actual way the thing has been constructed is to mathematical uh, laws and mathematical coding perhaps would be a better term. Now how would we use this? So with this for example we would hold the pendulum over say a remedy. I'm going to demonstrate it with a remedy and I'm just going to swing the pendulum and say impregnate. And all I'm going to do is let the pendulum rotate. Uh, 
until it comes to a stop or goes from side to side. There we go. So once you have the pendulum impregnated with the remedy, to transmit it, you hold it over the person you want to transmit it to. If it's a distant healing, you can hold it over a uh, photograph, or you can write the name of the person. Now, if you're making a, a radionic witness of somebody by writing their name, it's important to think of them, to keep them in, in, in your mind as you write their name down. Some people also write their date of birth underneath the name. But that's, that's optional, just the name is fine. And then swing the pendulum over either yourself, the person in front of you, if you're a, a therapist and you're, you're, you're wanting to send this remedy to them, and you swing it, where you want, and then you say, transmit. And you just allow the pendulum again to do what it did before, really, continue to swing under its own momentum until it either comes to a stop or goes from side to side. Okay, like that. Now, the pendulum will remain impregnated with what it is you've uh, instructed it to do until you say neutralize. So we swing it again and say neutralize. Just allow the pendulum to continue again. until you get the backwards and forwards response or, or it comes to a stop. So uh, that's something that you can do as an alternative to having a chain of pendulum, but it does require this specific pendulum that I'm showing you now. It does have like a little chain, kind of chain. You don't put anything in there. That's just part of the design of the pendulum. The hole at the bottom. And, uh, you know, you can do other things as well. You can actually, uh, for example, impregnate a pendulum decree or an affirmation. And that would just be the case of taking a card, a piece of paper, writing down the affirmation or the pendulum decree, which is basically a command or a prayer. You write it down. And you do just the same thing as you would if you've got the physical remedy. Hold it over and say, impregnate. And then you can then transmit the energy of that command, that decree, prayer, whatever you want to call it, to wherever it is you want to go, whether it's a distant healing, whether it's over yourself. And whenever you swing a... Uh, uh, an energy emitting pendulum in your biofield, then your biofield is gaining the benefit of that energy. You can actually hold it directly over the palm chakra, which is a good thing to do. Uh, if you're holding it over another person, it can be over a chakra, over an ear of the body that requires balancing, or as I say, if it's distant healing, over the radionic witness, which can be the, the person's name, or it can be a little snippet of their hair, um, or it can be a photograph. So um, that is the, the builder's pendulum. And for that, you do not require to actually have a sample to put in it. You're, you're, you're allowing the pendulum itself to become impregnated with the energy and then you're transmitting that energy. Okay, so I hope that has been beneficial, particularly to those who are beginning with their dowsing. But if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about, uh, please feel free to uh, contact me through the website, sorry, through the, uh, through the comments or through the Facebook group. Thank you for listening.